Are you or your partner dealing with low sperm count, poor motility, or less than ideal sperm morphology? Maybe you've been told that IVF is your only option or that there's nothing that you can do to improve male fertility naturally. I'm here to tell you that's simply not true. In fact, I was recently involved in a published medical case study where we improved a patient's sperm motility by 7,900%. That's not a typo, 7,900%. His total modal sperm increased by over 3,400%. His morphology improved by 75% and his testosterone increased by 57%. When I met this patient, he and his wife had been trying to conceive for over a year and a half with no success. His sperm parameters were so poor that they weren't even a candidate for IVF. But within six months of following the protocol, I'm about to share with all of you, everything changed. They were able to move forward with IVF and today have a healthy baby. Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Sklar, also known as the Fertility Expert. For over 23 years, I've been helping couples like you overcome fertility challenges through natural root cause approaches. And today I'm sharing the exact five tips that created this dramatic and amazing transformation. But before we dive in, I want to give you something powerful. I've created a guide, a free guide called The Proven Six Ways to Improve Egg Quality in 90 Days. Even though today's video is focused on sperm health, egg quality is equally crucial for conception. You can download this guide using the link in the description below this video. It's going to include fertility approved shopping lists, supplement protocols, and my signature visualization technique that I use with members in my HOPE coaching program. Now, as you often hear me say, while much of the preconception health conversation relates to women, 50% of fertility issues are actually related to male partner and sperm health. And here's something most people don't realize. Sperm health doesn't just impact whether you can conceive. It also affects fetal development and the future health of your child. Toxins, vitamin and mineral deficiencies, hormones, and many other factors can all impact sperm quality and ultimately your baby's long-term health. That's why I always encourage men to get comprehensive lab work on both sperm parameters and hormones. When it comes to evaluating sperm health, there are four key factors that we need to look at. Sperm count, how many sperm are being produced, sperm motility, how well they swim, total modal sperm, the percentage that are actively swimming, and then sperm morphology, the size and shape of the sperm. But here's the encouraging news. New sperm takes about 60 to 75 days to develop, with the full cycle taking about 90 to 120 days. This means that the health changes that you make today can have a significant impact on your sperm health. Within 120 days, you can have completely new, healthier sperm. So when we talk about stopping alcohol or making other lifestyle changes that might sound difficult, remember, this isn't forever. It's just while you're actively trying to create the healthiest conception and baby possible. Tip number one is about optimizing your nutrition. Let me start with the foundation of everything, which is nutrition. I break this down into two categories, what you should eat less of and what you should eat more of. What to eat less of. First, reduce or eliminate processed foods. Here's a simple rule. The longer shelf life of a food, the shorter your lifespan will be. Seriously, you also want to minimize refined sugars and artificial sweeteners, dairy products, especially conventional dairy, trans fats and artificial fats, excessive coffee. One cup is okay, but multiple cups daily can impact your fertility. Alcohol, especially beer, sodas, and artificial juices. Now, what to eat more of? Focus on nutrient-dense whole foods, so plenty of vegetables. Aim for a rainbow of colors on your plate. Grass-fed organic protein sources. Clean, filtered water. At least half your body weight in ounces daily. Super important. And then healthy fats rich in vitamins, minerals, and omega-3s. Proper nutrition provides the building blocks for healthy sperm production. Without adequate nutrients, your body simply cannot create optimal sperm. Think of it like trying to build a house without quality materials. You might get something standing, but it won't be structurally sound. Start by making one change at a time. This week, 
focus on eliminating processed foods and adding more vegetables. Next week, consider your protein sources. The following week, start your supplement protocol. One of the things that I do to ensure my patients and members of my program have optimal nutrition for sperm health is recommend Rejuva Sperm. This comprehensive formula ensures they're getting everything needed in the right doses and ratios. You can find more information at getrejuva.com. And I'll leave that link also in the description below for you. Tip number two is to support your endocrine system with Revolution Macalibrium. Staying on the supplement side, my second tip is about directly supporting the endocrine system and testicular function. For this, I use a specific product called Revolution Macalibrium. This directly impacts sperm production, motility, and morphology. This was one of the two primary supplements that I used with my patient in the published case study that I mentioned earlier. Your hormones control everything related to sperm production. If your hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenals, and testes aren't functioning optimally, your sperm production will suffer. This is a major warning about testosterone therapy. This is something that I need to address because I see this mistake all the time. I do not advocate for the use of testosterone therapy when trying to conceive. Here's why, and this is super important. Exogenous testosterone, meaning testosterone that comes from outside your body, actually suppresses your body's natural production of sperm. It can potentially lead to infertility. That's correct. You heard that right. When you introduce testosterone from outside, it signals your brain to stop releasing the hormones FSH and LH that are needed for sperm creation. It also tells your testes to stop producing their own testosterone. The result, decreased sperm count and quality, sometimes to zero. Instead of introducing synthetic hormones that disrupt your natural balance, Revolution Macalibrium works differently. It supports your hypothalamus, pituitary, adrenals, and testes, helping your body produce its own hormones naturally, including testosterone, FSH, and LH. This is the approach that we took in our published case study, and the results speak for themselves. I'm going to leave the link in the description below where you can purchase it directly. As an aside, there's also a woman's version of this exact same thing or this similar product called Feminescence Maca Harmony, which I use to balance and regulate women's hormone production. But I'm going to save that information when we dive deeper about that product in another video for all of you. If you're realizing that you need personalized guidance to optimize your fertility and your partners, I want to invite you to book a free fertility assessment with my team. During this call, we'll analyze your unique situation, identify what's blocking your fertility, and create a step-by-step -step plan. This is your chance to discover if the Hope Fertility Program is the right fit for you. The link to book is in the description below. Now, tip number three, regulate testicular temperature. So this tip relates to something that most men don't really think about, testicular temperature. As all the men listening know, the testes hang outside the body for a reason. They need to stay cooler than your core body temperature to produce healthy sperm. They can ascend and descend based on temperature regulation needs. And the research is super clear. Studies show that just a two degree increase in testicular temperature for about 15 hours per day resulted in a 90% drop in sperm count, a 30% drop in sperm morphology. That's dramatic. And many men are unknowingly exposing themselves to this every single day. Some things to avoid is no saunas while actively trying to conceive, no hot tubs or hot baths. Showers are much better. And be careful with sitting. Whether working at a desk or driving for long periods, sitting increases testicular temperature by 2 to 3%. Consider a standing desk or take frequent breaks to move around. There's actually fascinating research from the University of Toronto on male fertility showing that using ice packs can help. Some men use specially designed cooling underwear during long periods of sitting. It sounds unconventional, but the research actually supports it. Another factor around temperature that's becoming a bit more prevalent is the type of underwear that men wear. Bike shorts or Lycra training shorts. While they prevent chafing and keep muscles warm, they also heat up the testicles. 
Athletic compression gear can do the same thing. But here's the bigger issue. Synthetic plastic-based underwear like polyester. One study showed that after just 140 days of wearing polyester underwear, men became azospermic, meaning they stopped producing sperm entirely. Zero. My suggestions, consider sleeping naked at night to allow proper temperature regulation. Look for natural fiber underwear, cotton, bamboo, modal, hemp, with a pouch designed that provides support while allowing airflow. If natural fiber pouches aren't available, consider switching to loose-fitting boxers. Avoid synthetic materials, especially polyester. Temperature regulation is something within your complete control. These changes cost little to nothing and can have a profound impact on sperm health. You can make that change now. Start taking action. My fourth tip takes us into personal care items and environmental toxins. The toxin problem. We live in an increasingly toxic world. From personal care products to pesticides, industrial chemicals to heavy metals, our bodies are under constant assault. These toxins don't just make us feel unwell. They actively damage sperm at the cellular level. They act as an endocrine disruptor, throwing off your hormone balance and directly impacting sperm quality. Some areas for you to focus on. Number one, personal care products. Switch to toxin free endocrine disruptor free hair care products. Use natural deodorants without aluminum. Check your shaving products and face wash. Look for products that are phthalate free and paraben free. Number two, environmental toxins, pesticides, and herbicides. If you're gardening, avoid Roundup and similar chemicals. Choose organic produce whenever possible, especially from the dirty dozen food list. Heavy metals, these can come from foods, water, and even supplements. Make sure any supplement you take are Prop 65 compliant and third-party tested. Radiation. While we can't avoid it completely, minimize unnecessary exposure. If you fly frequently for work, know that this increases radiation exposure. Industrial chemicals. If you work with chemicals, take proper protective measures and shower immediately after work. Plastics and BPA, you've probably heard this the most. These deserve special mention. BPA, phthalates, and other plastic-derived chemicals are potent endocrine disruptors. Never microwave your food in plastic containers. Switch to glass or stainless steel for food storage. And don't drink from plastic water bottles, especially if they've been sitting in a hot car. Avoid canned foods when possible. Most actually contain a lining of BPA inside. These are things that you can actively change. And remember, because it takes 90 to 120 days to produce new sperm, the changes you make today will show up in your sperm parameters three to four months from now. That also means if you've been exposed to toxins, you can reverse that damage with the same time frame. In my program, we do comprehensive testing that goes beyond standard fertility panels. We test for heavy metal burden, evaluate toxic load, and create personalized detoxification protocols for our members. We don't just guess, we test, then address what we find in those results. My fifth and final tip is about stress, both physical and emotional. Physical stress on the body can come from many sources. First one being infections like STDs, viral infections, or bacterial infections. These all create stress on your reproductive system. Wait until you're fully cleared before trying to conceive. Another stressor is inflammation. Chronic inflammation from poor diet, lack of sleep, or autoimmune conditions impacts sperm quality. The next is lack of exercise or excessive exercise. Both extremes are problematic. Moderate, consistent exercise is ideal. Sleep is a big one. Poor sleep is terrible, so aim for seven to eight hours of sleep nightly. Sleep is when your body repairs and produces hormones. Now, body weight. Both being significantly overweight and underweight can impact sperm production. A healthy BMI matters for your fertility. Now let's talk about emotional stress. The mind-body connection is real. Chronic emotional stress impacts hormone production, inflammation levels, sleep quality, libido, and sexual function. Some practical stress management tools for you to potentially add into your daily routine or weekly routine are acupuncture. So research shows that just five weeks of acupuncture treatment can improve sperm morphology, count, and motility. It works by improving energy flow, reducing stress, and supporting the endocrine system. In the HOPE program, I provide resources for finding qualified fertility acupuncturists in your area or can recommend practitioners who 
offer virtual support. Exercise is the other one we talked about previously, but I'm bringing it up again. Aim for moderate exercise four to five times per week. This helps to regulate blood sugar, reduce inflammation, improve hormone balance, reduce stress and anxiety, but don't overdo it. Excessive high intensity training can actually lower testosterone. Next is sleep optimization. This can't be overstated. During deep sleep, your body produces the majority of its testosterone and growth hormone. Growth crucial for sperm production. Some tips for better sleep. First one, keep your bedroom cool, about 65 to 68 degrees. Block out all light. No screens for at least an hour before bed and consider blackout curtains and maintain a consistent sleeping pattern. Here's something that you might not know. Low-dose melatonin can benefit both male and female fertility. Research shows it has powerful antioxidant properties that protect both sperm and eggs from oxidative stress. It's also supportive for mitochondrial function and cellular health. I specifically recommend a plant-based melatonin supplement called Herbatonin, which research shows is up to 700 times more effective than synthetic melatonin when it comes to antioxidant, mitochondrial, and anti-inflammatory benefits. And it helps you sleep. <laughs> so stress, both physical and emotional, creates a cascade of hormonal disruptions. When your body is in that fight or flight mode constantly, it deprioritizes reproduction. Your body thinks this isn't a safe time to make a baby. By managing stress, you're telling your body it's safe. We're ready to try to conceive. Start with one stress management technique this week. Maybe it's committing to seven hours of sleep nightly or scheduling that acupuncture appointment you've been trying to do or starting a 10-minute daily meditation practice. Small, consistent changes compound over time. So there you have it, my five tips to dramatically improving sperm health based on real research and real results from my published case study. Optimize your nutrition with the right foods and targeted supplements. Support your endocrine system naturally with Revolution Macalibrium instead of synthetic hormones. Regulate testicular temperature through clothing choices and lifestyle habits. Reduce toxic exposure in personal care products and your environment. Manage physical and emotional stress through sleep, exercise, acupuncture, and mindset work. These are the exact strategies I used to help my patient improve his sperm motility by 7,900%, total motor sperm by 3,456%, morphology by 75%, sperm count by 48%, and testosterone by 57%. I'm leaving the link to our published study in the description below so you can read all the details. It's fascinating, and I think you'll find it both encouraging and full of practical information you can start implementing today. The main supplement I used in this case study was Revolution Macalibrium, and you can find that at the link below as well. And remember, that free guide I mentioned at the beginning, the proven six ways to improve egg quality in 90 days, that link is in the description as well. Download it today. If this video resonated with you and you're ready to take control of your fertility journey for both partners, I want to personally invite you to book your free personalized fertility assessment with my team. During this call, we'll analyze your unique situation, identify what's blocking your fertility, design a practical step-by-step -step plan to help you conceive. This is your chance to get expert insights and discover if the Hope Fertility Program is the right path for you. The link to book your assessment is in the description below. Remember, sperm health isn't fixed or unchangeable. Within 90 to 120 days, you can have completely new, healthier sperm. The changes you make today create the foundation for your future family. You're not alone on this journey. I've walked this path with hundreds of couples, and I've seen transformations that medical professionals said were impossible. There is always hope. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more evidence-based fertility guidance. Turn on notifications so you never miss a new video. And if you know someone who's struggling with male fertility issues, please share this video with them. You might be giving them exactly the hope and information that they need. Keep watching these stories of hope from other members of my Hope Fertility Coaching Program. The playlist is linked in the description as well. Until the next video, stay fertile.